What's up everybody? Welcome to Zero Mile ADV, a true beginner's guide to adventure motorcycling. Today we're gonna do another lesson in the dirt today that hopefully will de demystify cornering for you a little bit. It was something that I recently learned and I thought it would be really valuable, especially to new riders, to help understand this concept to especially be able to corner better, not only on the street, but also in the dirt. So with that, let's get into it. Okay, everybody, so welcome to my really crude Stone Age style lesson on cornering in the dirt, in the desert. <laughs> so this stick here represents our tire and our motorcycle going through a corner. This here represents centrifugal force. This here represents the friction that actually pulls us through the corner. And this here represents gravity. So what was really eye-opening for me, and if you're like me when you're new to motorcycling in general, it was always amazing to watch MotoGP riders go through a corner, right? How fast they could go through a corner and how hard they lean the bike. And not only how hard do they lean the bike, but how far out their body position is. And so we have this, this Aspen stick that actually is, will represent body position. So with Moto, let's start with MotoGP because I think it's probably the easiest to understand these forces. So with centrifugal force, if you're a product of the 80s and 90s like me, there's those cool amusement park rides that spin in a circle really, really fast. When you're on a motorcycle, you are essentially, and you're going through a corner, you are essentially going through a circle, but we're just not completing the circle, right? We're only doing one portion of the circle. And so in order to have more speed into a corner, you need more friction that will actually pull you through the corner to counteract the centrifugal force that wants to pull you out. So the motorcycle will lean. And the motorcycle will lean to basically counterbalance these two forces, giving you a set a basically equilibrium so you can carry that amount of speed through the corner. So the faster you go, the more friction you need because the harder that this is the centrifugal force is pulling you out, so the more the bike has to lean. However, there becomes a point where you run out of tire, right? And you run out of essentially downforce because you need more downforce to create more friction. Now, gravity gives us a certain amount of downforce, but there are other ways to create downforce to give us more friction to, so we can lean the bike harder and essentially pull through the corner. Now, once you get to a point, especially in MotoGP, even though their tires are made of rubber cement, what a lot of the greats found is that if they leverage their body further off the motorcycle as it leaned they could reach a point where the bike was leaned as hard as it as far as it could go but they still needed to carry enough speed and to counterbalance the centrifugal force they need more leverage or more downforce but they can't lean the, the bike anymore so much like a really long wrench you know if you have like a longer wrench it gives you more downforce to really crank a really locked on bolt same same principle applies here. They lean their body weight out to give them more leverage with their weight to essentially create more downforce on the tire, allowing them to carry more speed through the corner. So now, if all that makes sense, and I hope it does, how does this apply to adventure bike adventure bikes? I think our biggest problem in corners is that a lot of people see that and then they think, oh, I should immediately lean my body weight out with the bike because I'm going to corner faster. However, our biggest problem on dirt, especially cornering in dirt, is this friction force. These two forces, right? Like we don't have a lot of friction to help carry us through the corner. We may be able to put a lot more downforce onto the tire, but if we're on like gravel like this and it's essentially creates no friction. So we can put a lot of leverage in, in downforce, but if we have no friction, essentially the tire is going to slip out and then it's going to pull us out of the corner. So if you've ever seen a dirt bike rider, and I don't know, I don't know what the different like supercross terms are. So if you know, leave a comment below. Um, you, a lot of times you'll see that they actually leave their body position up. They may stick a leg out over the side of the bike. And so why would this be? Because the moment you lose friction, the bike, the downforce of gravity that you have applied, especially if you have too much excess downforce, is going to pull you straight into the ground and then you're going to slide out of the corner, right? And if you've seen, Moto, back to the MotoGP GP example, the moment they lose friction and they have all this leverage out here, what happens? The bike slides on, on its side and they basically slide way out of the corner. So... What we can do is if 
if you watch MotoGP, they keep their weight centered and they counterbalance the bike. So their weight is still helping to push down, but we don't need as much leverage because we're not going as fast. And a lot of times they'll stick their leg out to give some more downforce into the corner to help give us more friction. But the moment they hit loose gravel like this that wants to kick us out of the corner, it's easy for us to apply more centrifugal force outside to get the tire more upright, to, to even out the traction and the friction to help carry us back through the corner. It does mean that we don't aren't cornering anymore, but we can recover. You will also see with MotoGP that as they're coming in, and if they start to lose friction, this friction piece here that's pulling them through the corner, and the bike's starting to slide out and they can feel the slide, they will a lot of times stick their leg out, out here. And even though it may not seem like much, like what is one leg going to do, it helps to pull the bike back upright enough to regain that traction and pull the bike back through the corner. So with that being said, I think that is why ADV riders don't want to actually lean into the corner, but they actually want to counterbalance the, the motorcycle so that it's easier to recover the bike in the moment we lose friction. You can stick your leg out like a you know MotoGP rider. Getting over my fear of gravel riding tips is that you don't really want to stick, stick your leg out can be dangerous. But if you need to leverage more weight on the outside to create more downforce, you can lean your leg out without touching the ground, but lean one leg out, keep your body over the center of the bike. In the moment you lose traction, it makes it much easier to put more to put leverage on the bike back to a certain angle to where we get, regain that traction and keep carrying ourselves to the corner. So with that, I hope it makes sense. I'm not an engineer, I'm a technology guy. So if I'm wrong in this, and if there's anybody out there that is an engineer, please correct me where I'm wrong. But I think this really helped me understand why bikes lean into corners and why we probably as ADV riders need to think differently about where we leverage our body weight when riding in dirt corners. So with that being said, if you've made it this far in the video, please like and subscribe, all that fun jazz. And until next time, stay safe out there.